Uh, my name is Jimmy Perino. Others know me as whatever you want. My name is Joseph Shea, but you can call me Joey. My name is Michelle Rivera. Oh, I use everything. I'm on uh, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Tinder, Facebook, which I felt super fucking adult when I got. Still don't know really how to use. I use Instagram, Reddit, uh, Snapchat, uh, YouTube, and sometimes TikTok. I use all the typical ones like Snapchat, Instagram. I sometimes watch TikTok when I really have the time, but I use Facebook sometimes too in those like aging. You use TikTok? I did. Uh, I I, just, I started fucking hating TikTok because like the, the the people that would get famous off of TikTok and genuinely like make like seven figures off of it would piss me off because people with no talent <laughs> getting that big of a platform and doing shit with it hate it so much. So I kind of I don't have TikTok as sort of a protest. Um, also, it was just mind-numbingly, like, I would just, I would be on it for hours. Um, what a stupid app. <laughs> I think what it's supposed to be is good, but what it is, it's bad. Right. Well, I think it's both, because, positive, because... It could help promote things like voting, and it could help people watch, I don't know, like the game or concerts they can't really go to now, especially in these times. I think it's negative because it could also become addicting, and people can lose track of time. And I think that everyone kind of agrees that social media is negative, but we're so like addicted to it that we don't want to like do anything about it. You know what I mean? Like, me, myself, I've, I've done so many things and all my friends get so annoyed by it. It's like, I'm going on a social media cleanse. I'll see you guys later. Nobody fucking cares. People think that their whole world is on this little screen. They don't realize that, the, that there's this whole other, complete other world passing by their eyes. In a way, it does relate social media because news can be posted on Facebook or Instagram or like those short stories that they watch. Yes, I I do. For these young, this younger generation, most of them get their news sources from social media. So I feel like a lot of these people are thinking that some of these news news stations and news outlets are outdated people are like very impatient so things like tiktok they're short so it's easy for people to watch and not get bored i think it's just downright dangerous for news organizations which are supposed to represent integrity and information i think it's dangerous for them to get involved with social media I don't want my news to be relatable. I don't want my news to be quirky. It's just so fucking frustrating when a political debate that is literally in an election that is literally deciding the fate of American lives, that the number one thing that came out of it is a fly on top of Mike Pence's fucking head. I just, that's when I really hate social media. You know where it comes from is all these people wanting attention and wanting a following and wanting likes thinking, oh, uh, fly on his head. I guess he it's really good at smelling bullshit. Fuck you. You're not the first person that came up with that joke. You saw that joke earlier and said, oh, that has a bunch of likes. I want a bunch of likes too so that I can feel good about myself. Do you think social media impacts people's self-esteem? Oh, yes. More than anything. Again, I think this is both because it affects negatively to people because if they, they're they out here posting, expecting to get like 100,000 likes, get that little verified check on their Instagram or TikTok or whatever, and if they don't, they're going to be they're gonna be like, wow, I guess I don't fit into this world that, this little popular world that people like, I guess I'm not good enough. I mean, you can make the parallels of real life. You 
get your braces off in middle school or high school. You come to school and you start smiling to try to show off your teeth to get those compliments, to get noticed, and it's the exact same thing on social media. The difference is every post you post, it's like getting your braces off. It could be positive because, I mean, let's say you get lucky, you know, and you do get all those things, well, there you go, you boost your self-esteem. And if you don't get that, you just feel like crap. I've had people just feel awful about themselves for not getting a certain amount of likes on a picture that they posted of themselves. And it's like, who, who are you posting for? You know, is the question that I always go back to. <sighs> but hey, I got 300 likes on my last Instagram post, so who cares? <laughs>